You're live, Zach Morris. Hey! What's up? God damn it, Damien. Why are you the one doing the... Forget it. Here we go. I mean, seriously, Luke's terrible at it. Hey, hey, he fucking sounds like a fucking broken... He called me Zach Morris, so... Starting to feel unwanted. I want to look. I actually want to say that when he did that, he sounded like a uh, old boy on Wayne's World too. <laughs> hey! Yeah, like, something like that, you know. Just oh yeah, the worm. Isn't he? Isn't he called the worm? Mr. Scream. I think it's called Mr. Scream or something like that. It was a radio host, and then it was like the Scream guy. But they thought the Scream guy was the fucking host and whatnot because it was yes. old. It was old boy from Revenge of the Nerds and Married with Children. That was a scream guy. Yes, I remember that. So I'm good looking, at least. Ted McGinley. Yes, that is right. They, 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 it was rumored at one point to be... Ted McGinley does not play the scream, right? He Isn't does. The, the ugly guy? And the they ugly, think the it's ugly, Ted McGinley? No, the other guy's the host. The ugly guy is really the, the radio host that they, were, that they were obsessing over. And, and Ted McGinley was a scream guy. Because he, oh, yeah. he was good, because, and because he was still handsome and everything like that, they thought he had to be the radio host with that voice. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but he was just the gimmick boy. Yeah, and, and then it was and, the other uh, husband from Mary Darcy's other husband from Mary with Children played the guy on the radio. What's his name there from uh, Spinal Tap and from all that? Steve Rhodes. Yes. What uh, real name? It was. Uh, isn't no. it Garrison? No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't no. recall him being in this. I think no. Luke's full of shit. Oh, no, 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 no. He, he tends to be. It looks like uh -huh. him, but I mean, but what? no, that's not, that's, not the, that's not the guy. <laughs> that's not the guy. But um, but it's funny that, that McGinley was always being looked at. It was, it was rumored at one point that he was like the guy who killed mm -hmm. sitcoms. That he always seemed to come in like toward, the, toward a sitcom's end because he did the same thing with Happy Days way, way back. Uh, oh, that's right. Poppycock. Uh, he was a fine actor. I, no, it's not David so Garrison. Wasn't. David Garrison. I mean, on television, he would make hits, man. I don't know what's going on. Je uh, uh, Jefferson Darcy was arguably better than Steve Rhodes. There. I, mean, I gave, said it. He gave you more of a backstory. He gave you more of a backstory to work with for sure. That was certain. You had you, you were interested in what was you know, and, and what his history was based on. Well, it was like show. a fucking CIA agent or something secretly the whole time. Didn't they reveal that in the end? But yeah, but then but then he also he also seemed to be some sort of like or like a Russian of, spy or some shit. It was a double operative. And then some sort of con man playboy also. Uh, as well. No, but the con man playboy was just his CIA cover. That's all that was. That's uh, allegedly, if I got it, if I remember it correct. Because I know he still had connections. I know they still played into that. Like he still, he still had knew somebody that was like really. I think they still played into him knowing Saddam or him, you know, what I'm saying, or having some kind of interaction with Saddam on one of the episodes of, you know, say of Married with Children and things like that, something like that. I do not see David Garrison uh, in Wayne's no. World. No, yeah, he's you not. Know yeah, what? He, he was, I'm getting two guys mixed guy. up. Yeah, you really yeah, yeah, you get two guys mixed up often, don't you? <laughs> but no, but yeah, I guess his, so. But, but to Gay his credit, stuff. But to his credit, it was, <laughs> but to his but to his credit though, it was guy two guys, dark hair, sort of like a mullet type haircut going on, light eyes, big nose. You know, so he was. He, he, he was so you're saying a Jew? Not, not me. Racist. <clears throat> not, not me. Jewist. Moving on. <laughs> don't make it don't make it weird, Luke. Stone's over there spitting on the star of David. <laughs> don't, don't make it weird. See, see, Come that, on, Stone. See, actually, no, that, that's what you see. This see, early in the morning. See? see I'm gonna Luke, have the Chinese like, star, see, David. When you don't when, when you when you relinquish control of it, then you allow then you allow that to happen when you relinquish control of that narrative. You don't make it awkward. You don't, you don't get quiet and well, make no, it awkward. Well no, see I, 
But I'm part Jewish, so it's everything's good now. We can make whatever jokes we want. <laughs> I'm I'm signing off on them all. Okay. They and all I'm part retarded, card. so we can say those words. <laughs> My no, God. No, I do not. No, I do not think all white people look the same. There are a certain <laughs> sect that look like that look like members of like the group from the Descent. <laughs> It's like the like troglodyte kind of cave dwellers. Chalky oh, like half, a backwoods BYB beer. Chalky half blind, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, like ambiguous geldings out there, like just just, just chewing people up. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm just you know, yeah, so not all of them look like that, I, I swear to God. And then some of them look like like I said, and then some of them look like no right you, you 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 have to understand, like why do some why do a lot of them end up looking like Nosferatu, like why is that the prototype that a lot of different beings or humanoids look like? Oh, I'm not going to stand for this. All white people do not look like Nosferatu. I am not standing for this. <laughs> when they get older and skinny, some I don't know, a lot of them do. You whiteies. See? <laughs> see? There you go. Yeah, That's you dumb that. whiteies. <laughs> You see, you, you see when you see, you see when you when you maintain control of the narrative. See, it it doesn't see when you become quiet and awkward. Then the attack comes on you. But when you take control, then the then, then the spirit the the, the hot that the hot potato shifts to someone else. Now Luke has the hot potato. Thank yeah. you, Luke. Thank I like you. You you're you're hot, you 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 sexy Irish. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> or no, it's a sexy tarted. Take That's it. what you're saying. A hot potato. A sexy Wasn't what? it? So basically, Zoe de Chanel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look, 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 look who's intrigued. Look who's intrigued already. We are, no, we went through that. Yeah, she's definitely got a dongle. She's, uh, yes, we're giving away there. PS5s. Um, what? Yes, we're having a giveaway. So, Slim T guy, make sure you tell everybody. But we're it's giving them away, true. but I still don't it's have not one. True. We're it's giving it away to Damien. Hey. The contest is uh, the first person who sends a five hundred dollar super chat. We will give a PS five away to Damien, and then I'll send you a hey Jim the six cents on VHS. Hey Jim, <laughs> look you uh, you were the one who brought up the um, the Montgomery Alabama brawl. Um, you brought that. You, you brought. I said like sexy retard and. Not all Jews look alike. That's about all I've said so far. Yesterday, I mean, yesterday, I was okay. Saying. Wait, is that the Scribble Gooding Jr. thing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. Have you heard? Have you heard about the merchandising? No, sir. Oh my God! There, there is there are tons of content and merchandising being done on this now. There was somebody who posted, who posted on, who posted on social media. He was going to the Cracker Barrel to celebrate. He yeah. had Cracker Barrel just makes me laugh. I'm yeah, sorry. see, he's going to the Cracker Barrel. The, the, the <laughs> barrel of whiteies. Yeah, see, and and he had a T-shirt on that depicted that depicted that had the scene that had a, like a, a picture or like a screenshot of the scene of the brawl, and he had a T-shirt already. Um, I don't know that that makes a good T-shirt. No. No, like what is it? It's just a picture of the brawl. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't wear it. That's all I'm saying. I I get it. I'm just saying that this there's also now people are going online. There there are instructional videos on how to on how to wield a chair, on how to wield a folding chair. Why didn't that um Waffle House Wendy get the same treatment? Didn't she fucking didn't someone jump out of a folding chair over there? Wasn't there something with that? There's always someone hitting someone with a chair in the internet. <laughs> Fuck these people. Yeah, now, somebody, just... now somebody, now somebody threw somebody threw one of them like wooden or like one of them wooden or metal like non folding chairs at Waffle House, and she caught it, and she like caught it and, and like and like and like brushed it aside. Like Damien like, set up today's show. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I just saw that fucking thing. That was a shock. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> sorry about that. That was a passive aggressive thing. I think it was. It shouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stone. Please carry on. I was just blown away by that. It's the first time it ever happened. I think I, I, be, I was I trying think. to be useful for once. Yeah, he's, he, 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 he. I mean, he is awake. We're all like did a really good job. Thank you. I feel like that was sarcastic. Yeah, very nice. 
No, no it wasn't. No, <laughs> no it was a, it was more of a no. It was it was it was it was it was a jab at um, Luke, so we didn't have to use one of his shittier morning alarm thumbnails. Oh, jeez! I where am I getting these thumbnails? <laughs> like what? Come, come, come. Sorry, guys. We interrupted Stone. Please, Stone, would you carry continue? Because you were really going somewhere, and I didn't mean that. No, um, I, I pretty much said without... total accident. I won't interrupt you anymore. Nope, I pretty much said. I promise this will be that was it. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, there it is. I'm really done. I was really done. It was three. Three is the law. I said what I was gonna say. I said what I was gonna say, <laughs> and I, I said what I said, and I, I'm not gonna say it again. Oh, I was just checking my phone. I was wondering if it might be ringing again. Sorry. <laughs> that was weird. What? That wasn't that, that, that wasn't weird at all. Was that, an, was that supposed to be an impression of me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It wasn't. <laughs> so it was are, just. Are we gonna, uh, yeah, I was going to tell you it sounded like it sounded like Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder, but you know. <laughs> it was more Mr. T. I mean, really. I says what I says, and I told that I says. It was like a Popeye, Mr. T. Imagine yeah, if Mr. Yeah. T had played Popeye. <laughs> That'd have been something. Get over here, olive oil. I pity the pussy. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't take me. He doesn't take me as I much of a singer. I don't. He I don't play know. a good wimpy. He play a good wimpy. I would gladly pay I you hear? Tuesday for a hamburger today, fool. So you know the. Uh, I heard that the Emoji Movie. Uh, originally that maybe Wednesday if you're lucky I'm Mr. T was trying to decide between doing a new Popeye movie or doing the emoji movie and they chose the emoji movie which kind of tanked so maybe they should have done the Popeye one uh, never touched never ever touch live action Popeye that is uh, a perfect film perfect, I don't know if it perfect, was perfect they might have been going to do it CGI though I think they were going to be a CGI Popeye but see, that's that's where, see that that's where you that's where you realize that losing people like Robin Williams, you know, as far as Hollywood goes, entertainment goes, is a bigger loss than people think it is because because he didn't need CGI, he didn't need CGI to bring Popeye to life like that. He didn't he didn't need that. He made you he made you feel the magic and the nostalgia of that. It was campy the way it needed to be. No one needs it to be. Need something that was campy as it was in, in the animated to be too serious in live action. It was just Robin Williams knew how to strike that balance. He knew how to strike that balance between the humor of the situation and you know what I'm saying, uh, and basically making it, you know what I'm saying, making it a fun, you know what I'm saying, action adventure type thing. You know, so I don't know if it's nostalgia, but there's just something. Um, I don't want to say touching. That's the wrong word. No, where it's. It's just a fucking goddamned good movie. Like it's 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 a world class film. I don't think there's a fucking single missed beat in that movie, from songs to fucking just every fucking moment acted in that film. I don't think there's one missed beat. What were we talking about? We were just talking about just general stuff, and then we got into Popeye. You, you if that was a Popeye is- movie, I ain't watching. That was so. It looks like there are some like sneak peeks and, and screenshots of what they had started making, but they decided to go through with the emoji movie instead. I just read up a little bit. Of it. Okay, because um, yeah, I was looking at this. I'm like, I kind of thought that movie got made, but it didn't. Okay. You know, now you know what. Speaking of things that got made that I didn't think got made, a live action Attack on Titan. That was a that was a Netflix thing, right? I, I I didn't catch where where it was being shown, but I just I just happened to see footage on attack on a live action attack on Titan when they showed the colossal Titan. I was like, I was like, I didn't I never realized there was a live action version of that. Sorry to interrupt, but we have an audience request. Get over here, kids! I'm gonna fuck you. I'm Captain Hook. So whoa, 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 whoa. So why are you depicting? Eat, why are you depicting my, Hook? Why eat you, my paint meals, fool. Why are you hooking up? Why are you depicting Hook as a pedo? Well, did, did, he liked chasing my father, those boys. My father. No. He says you gotta come over. I gotta tell you a story about Peter Pan. I got a theory. And then he's like, <laughs> so Captain Hook 
was a pedophile uh, kidnapping all the kids or luring all the children. But Peter Pan was the one saving them and taking them away from Captain Hook. But Peter Pan was secretly a pedophile too. Peter Pan? Oh, come on. And then he just was like this. Oh. No, the theory, the theory that I'm, that I'm hearing <laughs> I'm so now. I'm so glad it came over. The theory that I'm hearing now was that like, that like Peter Pan is really like a, a really like a childlike demon that tricks kids into thinking that they they, they won't grow up well, like him and that they won't get older like him. And then when they do, he'll kill them. And that Hook and his that Hook and his pirates are really like lost boys. That one, you know, that once upon a time, Peter Pan brought the Neverland, and they grew up and escaped, and now they're trying to take him down. That makes a lot of sense. It really does, <laughs> because I hate that Peter Pan. He took it in me, took us. Oh. Yeah. So I mean that that's one that's one theory that they're that they're coming, and also. It's like another theory. Like it's it's like whenever whenever a certain ver whatever version of Peter Pan, whether it was a play, movie version, or whatever, it always seemed like the father, the father of the darling kids, was yep. always was always Captain Hook. Yeah, like that he, was like, always like, the thing. Yeah, like he was always a reflection of like the father. You know what I'm saying? The, the so parent. the fathers. Of, of, uh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to no, say those words. But together. see, that's that, no. <laughs> What the hell? Why, why, Someone why else says those words together about other people, and we saw it yesterday. And I'm not like that guy, so. But I I have heard before that Peter Pan is one of those like stories that got sanitized over the years. It was originally a they much darker did. thing. That, but only but only that he was just a really childlike. Like the original the original play <laughs> was originally titled the um the boy who hates mothers. Instead of before, before it was titled the boy who you know, what I'm saying who couldn't, who wouldn't grow up. So they're all gay. I hate my mother. No. What the hell, Luke? You're making sweeping generalizations this morning. What the hell is happening? I've degraded. Talk to me. You I've talk been talking to, me here. to some terrible people, so maybe they they're influenced. I, I just think he woke up this morning. His alarm was out of order, and. Uh, you know, he didn't think he was going to make it on time. Then he... <laughs> it's all right. I, I can't remember the lyrics. <laughs> Neither can I. That's why I had it very slow. By the time he grabbed his books and he gave himself a look. <coughs> he made What's next? <laughs> so, out the door just in time, time to see the bus fly by? Yeah. It's all right, cause I'm saved by the bell. I know, yeah, I'm in a band. Shut up. I'm not here for that. Are you? <laughs> if so, thoughts and prayers for that band. Jesus. <laughs> Actually, Ew. Mr. T as Wimpy doesn't sound bad. Like he, I think. No, 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 Wimpy. This would be Mr. T as the hamburger uh, store owner. I know, yeah. He's, yeah. he's talking to it. I pity the fool that buys a hamburger today and doesn't pay me on Tuesday. And Wimpy's like, Mr. Mr. T, sir. Bluto is the only one that works. Black Bluto is the only one that works. See, I don't, you'd be, you're right there. Like, if we're talking about race swap characters, right? Bluto would probably be a great character because he's very inter like, uh, it could be black, could be white, um, and not change him. You just change his skin tone, and it could be a black guy or a white guy. Um, but that would probably not be good. That would probably come off as like really racist, you know? It was like because oh, now Blue Doe's a big burly black guy with a beard trying to fuck little skinny olive oil all the time, and like it would be just a oh yeah, of, 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 of course we can't have that again. We already had King Kong a bunch of times, so. You know, <laughs> King Kong didn't fuck that lady, man. Okay, look at the look at the King Kong version with uh, Jessica Lange and uh, with Jessica Lange. Jessica and, Lange did not fuck a monkey stone. Okay, look, I'm I'm gonna tell you. Do you they remember were in love, the, though? 
Do you remember? No, do you remember the? Um, do you remember the, the waterfall scene where she where she where she showered in the waterfall? I and have never he, seen King Kong. He blew her any dry. version. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna tell you, he blew her dry. But I'm I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. He <laughs> blew her dry. I'm if if that wasn't if if that wasn't as close to fucking as a as as a gigantic <laughs> monkey and a, you know what I'm saying and a, and a regular sized human woman could get to I mean I I don't know what it was. Did her nipples get hard from it? I mean, it, she then, looked she looked like she she was like she was about to orgasm at one point. I'm just I'm just saying. Just because the wind. Flapping the curtains. Uh, it must have been pretty heavy of a win, but what about the stink? <laughs> what about the stink? I mean, he's a breath. big giant gorilla, like a giant, like a hundred feet tall. Whatever. Breath probably don't stink. Mm. He's probably got fine, normal breath. Like eat mostly bananas, right? Right, and 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 bats. That's some big bananas. Yeah, I don't know. Bananas. There I gotta, could be I enough mean. bananas. And bamboo and whatnot. <laughs> I mean, you know. So you're saying he wouldn't like Jessica Lane because he ate so many bananas? Is that where you're going with that? I don't. Maybe. No, he, he was liking her just fine. He was he was definitely, he was definitely enthusiastic about blowing her dry after after her shower. Sinbad as olive oil. <laughs> Why? What the hell, man? I don't know. I just watched Good Burger the other night um, with the boy. And uh, Sinbad's character in that fucking movie is just a goddamn joke. The Mr. Mr. Weed. Um, I, I didn't see it until now, but um, it, and, and it's not so bad after that first scene. But the first scene of Mr. Weed and my afro, my afro, you missed up my afro. Like, uh, that was just, a, it was just weird. And then he's just like at the door and he does like some fucking spin in his 70s fucking clothes. It was ridiculous. But the best line of that movie. Did I say this yesterday? I don't no. know. God, I hope I didn't because that would be really bad. No, we spent yesterday just talking about fucking the Special People's Club. Because um, we're obsessed. So obsessed. Um, th- 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 there's a line in there where, like, Dexter, that's. Uh, which one's the fat one? Kel or Keenan? Keenan, Keenan. The fat one. Keenan, Keenan, okay, Keenan. I never knew. So Keenan says to Kel, Kel he's like, um, oh, that guy doesn't want to be your friend. He's just trying to use you. And then Kel's like, well, that's not natural. And I just fucking died on that line. I thought it was funny. That's not natural. I can't do that. Why can't I, why can't I have enough grit in my voice to do that voice? Jesus Christ. But I can't wait for November for Good Burger too. Just I can't wait to see where those two are, let those characters where they are, how they play those characters now, the actors. Um, and well, I mean, I, I just hope it has even fucking five good jokes because I think that's all Good Burger really had upon watching it was five really good jokes through the whole movie. You know, like Abe see, Bago- Abe Vigoda saying "Your mama." And then a couple of gay jokes, but uh, other than that, it's <laughs> just mama. a solid film. But it's—I don't know—it's a funny fucking line. There's some criminals breaking into trying to steal those secret sauce, and he pops up, um, and then they're like, "Who are you?" And he goes, "Your mama." But it was Abe Vigoda, old man? And yeah, that's was fun- yeah, that's kind of funny. It was funnier Especially back the in the time. day. I mean, for the time, what the fuck is was- V looking at? Teen foot fetishes. What the hell is this? Oh, Get him off no. the screen. Older teen, older. Not, you know, but um, but the last the year. Where does that just come out of nowhere from? Te- te- teen foot fetish two. But Good Keenan burger really two foot this. fetish two. But Keenan really needs this man. I mean, he he really needs people that Keenan? like him again. Yeah, he really needs this Good Burger two. Why? He's he's still on Saturday. He's been on Saturday Night Live for forty years. But I mean, but I'm just trying to tell you. I think that was more he. I don't. I don't know. A, a lot of that. A lot of that. Do you mean to break like, through? Is that what you mean? No, you not even to a break. Not, not even a break through. I mean, look, look, Hollywood and whatnot. They like him. He's he's getting he's getting that whole. Do they? Like, What's he ever been in besides Saturday Night Live? <clears throat> but that's what he I'm saying. He was in the like, Fat he, Albert movie. No, but he hosts awards. He hosts award shows and things like that. I like that. that. 
they have him. I did not like Fat Albert. I did not like that Fat Albert. Adaptation it it all. took it me stupid. two or three watches, no. but I ended up really liking it. No, it was stupid. It was stupid as fuck. And, and, I mean, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, and I don't know necessarily if it was them and the whole movie that was stupid, or maybe it was just a realization that this whole that the whole Fat Albert and the Junkyard Gang is stupid. I just don't. I, I, I'm just not sure. I'm still <laughs> no, not sure there's we, nothing stupid about it. Watch that movie again. I think maybe it could have been time, could have been a bad day for you or something. Um, it's a fine film. It's a, Maybe I need to watch it again. Now I'm talking shit. Because I haven't seen it since I was a young kid. But He never, I mean, look. So wait, honestly, he man, look. He never, played, he never played Fat Albert. Like, Fat Albert just seemed real mellow to me. Real mellow. Real cool. He wasn't, oh, he wasn't too nervous me- or not- geeky. He wasn't nervous or geeky. He, he really, okay, Keenan did a bad Fat Albert. He really did. Yeah, yes, really I agree with that. He's not that multifaceted when it comes to acting. That's the only Is he not? How he is he not? He, how is he not? He's been doing... He's always... But he always... Keenan Thompson is the only person on the planet. He is a very singular, unique individual who was born doing sketch comedy. And has done sketch comedy his entire fucking fine. life. That's what he should be doing because he's got like. Well, no, I'm saying, how do you mean he doesn't have like good characters? Like, for somebody who only has done sketch comedy his whole life, I, I would assume he has. But you're probably right because you know what? Now that I think about it, he just does he the same fucking character every time. He does he like can't. this um, affable yes. uh, Bill Cosby. Routine every single or fucking he, time. The way that my, my perspective on him is like he always wants like he always tries to play like this little it's like the little obnoxious guy. Like the obnoxious guy that seems to that's always trying to get over or get a fucking angle. Like he's always trying to play the he's always trying to play the slick guy, but he oh. always but he always seems to but he always seems to come off as just a bit of a doof, you know what I'm saying, even though he's still even though he thinks that he's slicker than what he is, like it, he played that Man, same thing. Stop in making Shop fun too. of me like this. It's it's enough, guys. I, I you know I what, do. You really want me to leave? Oh, what the hell? I wish it's I would have been like paying it. attention, so I knew what you're talking about. Look, uh, V, we're sorry for calling you a teen foot fetisher. Uh, he's making fun of Dan Schneider. Look, that's the one thing oh. Becky asked the other day on a show. How do you differentiate the good and evil or whatever? Like um, an artist, when it comes to art, if a fucking artist is shit. Well, in the case of Victor Salva, even in the case of uh, Dan Schneider. What happened? Okay. What's going on? Yes. Yes. Da, 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 da. Yes. Da, 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 da. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jim's you, mic broke. Luke, you hurt. You, you hurt. I don't know what why. happened to him. Now you. Th- right now you're being hurt. Okay. 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 I guess everything broke. But, but I'm trying to tell him that at that point he was being heard. It, but um, but I don't know, man. Um, I gotta say that these people with their weird proclivities, it makes you almost fucking like fucking worried about trying to be creative and being out there and trying to be creative because you because you'll get looked at. You'll get looked at with a side eye. Like, are you one of these types? You know, or anything like that. Everything gets fucking scrutinized. Everyone's in trouble now, as the the phrase goes. Yeah, it also beca- it like it kind of becomes this kind of thing where it's like, yeah, you know, you're involved in entertainment, so you probably got some sick shit that you're doing that we don't know about yet, but we'll find out. Like in what? I mean, especially when it comes to like. These little secret parties, or you know, saying that, that I, I'm starting to hear my shit working. Like, yeah, yeah. What secret parties? Okay. What you guys talking about? What am I missing? I miss so much. What's happening? No, we're still talking about the proclivities of you know of people in Hollywood, and you know how. Oh, just, 
how it can just make you a little bit insecure about being a creative these days and being in entertainment and things like that in media because it's just like you just got to be willing to 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 and you could be a creative oh, that's all it takes that's all that's, it takes that's just all it. Give, giving your soul to satan no that's what not what he's saying what's going on right that's now that's not what the fuck he's saying <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a parallel to that, but I mean, it's, that's not exactly what he's saying just then. Because <laughs> I gave my soul to Satan years ago, but I'm not into any of that business. Something's going on with this machine. Uh, this the, the stream yard is fucking ridiculous. There's a ton of people chatting. It says zero fucking viewing the entire time. Um, and I, I, I'm I'm really just fucking perplexed by how to fuck we. Where are these people chatting if there's no fucking views? How the fuck does it keep showing zero fucking views with four or five people chatting? I don't understand that. If the stream yard's a piece of shit, which is pretty much guaranteed, or YouTube's a piece of shit, which is also guaranteed. So I guess it's a collaborative effort. Uh, it's stream yards, I guess, because YouTube says seven are watching. Uh, um. So I guess it's StreamYard, but I can't turn my fucking thing on. My my mic and camera just vanished, or my mic at least did, and sound. That's I couldn't get that shit back on. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Dan Schneider's a sick pervert. What? I don't have no secret partes, V. And it was hard to watch Good Burger, actually, with him there and not tell my son, like, that guy's a very bad man. But I did not want to ruin an otherwise great movie. Um, and even as sick as Dan Schneider is, um, iCarly, I still think, was one of the greatest shows for parents and kids to watch together back when it was out. Um, it certainly walked the line, which, I mean, when you got a pedophile running it, it's not hard to walk that line. But... Um, they really, I, I think the show didn't cross any lines. It was, it, his his creepness never showed except for a few, you know, things that looked like water sports and a few weird fucking foot fucking scenes. But other than, I mean, there, there's literally scenes where you got the girls at the side of the camera like this with their mouth open while a, like a water fountain is broken and st sending an arcing stream into their mouths. I mean, that. am I wrong? Am I the pervert? <laughs> am I the pervert? Why, why do people do that? I've always wondered about that. You put yourself in this position and say, am I the person that I seem to be depicting now? Am I no, the I'm asking, am I the pervert for being the one who's viewing a, a, a piss-sized piss stream? arcing stream where you don't see the source of it and it's coming from a higher angle and down into a young girl's mouth ah, waiting and open am i the one who's a pervert for thinking someone's doing something funny no i think you've just you've noticed it whereas a lot of people like it's one of those sneaky kind of things where it's like a lot of people would think nothing of that but because they're not sick in the head well, sure, but maybe you're going to be sick in the head to realize other people who are sick in the head. Probably. Maybe. Look, I will not piss in little girls' mouths, so just because I can recognize... Why'd you, why'd, you, wow. why'd you even say I that? I'm going to have to edit that out. In. What's happening? I said I will not. You understand I said I will not? I hope something yeah, didn't break up it's, here. Yeah. It's just, just we the never sentence. Que we never question that is what we're <laughs> saying. I know that I'm saying what I'm saying is you, that Damien is right. It takes a sick mind because while I would not do that, I'll say it again. I can don't, definitely see. Uh, I can see the connotation there because I'm a sicko. So well, maybe I can he see this. He needs to clarify because there are people out there who might think he's sick enough to do or say but something. But, like I that. but I don't. But I don't. Stop talking that. about them, boys. He just needs to clarify for them because they just completely think we're all psychos. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but now you got to know the, those same sick fucks are going to cut out the I wouldn't 
And <laughs> I'm just saying. Go, thanks a lot, Damien. Thanks a lot, Damien. I'm just warning you. I piss in little girls' mouths. See, I just made it easier for them. All right? Are you fucking happy? Idiot. No. Idiot. Not even a little bit. When he was I'm a little so boy. glad I'm not showing my face right now. No is... wonder the fucking camera's well, trying actually, to set itself no, off on me. Fucking, my head's up in cut the that, top cut that, part of cut the that, screen, cut so that. I'm fucked either way. Thanks, you... Jimmy Grins, you <laughs> cunt. Ah, uh, Luke did that one. Fucking Luke, <laughs> you, uh, Mr. I, I'm part everything. Why fucking the fuck do I have off. one N in my name? I'm a two-N-er. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> two-N-er. Oh, Jimmy Grins. Come on. All right, we haven't seen you grin so much today. We gotta gotta get a nice grin. I disavow what everybody to but world? Stone. Did it disappear? What, That's what I'm fucking saying on? this whole time. I can't figure it out. That's why I'm accidentally saying bad things. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason, people. There's accidentally on purpose. Good morning. <laughs> Disgusting. You awake yet? Have you mm. fucking <laughs> violently thrown up and woken up yet? <laughs> what are you shaking your head for, sir? <laughs> Over there, I see you. You look, you look perplexed right now. Me? Should that be you? Yeah. That's no, I'm you. always perplexed. No, why would it be me? I haven't violently thrown up in the morning in like fucking four years. I Since I started intermittent fasting, and now I've developed a, a fucking eating disorder. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm, I've, I've, I'm turning fucking woman now because I've hit this level where, no. shut the fuck up. I am. How are your teats doing? <laughs> They're better. I'm <laughs> getting. <laughs> I can tell. I am much, much thinner now, but I just feel fatter than I've ever been. It's like this whole fucking twist of the brain. Like, I'm looking at my fat ass all the time in the mirror now. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my I'm God. So right now. I, the, the day before yesterday, I ate a fucking sand, peanut butter sandwich that was this big because it was on this fancy fucking, like, Jesus bread. Um, you know, like in the Bible, they say uh, you put this the all these different nuts and grains together and make them into a bread. Um, oh, some Bible it's a recipe. Super crazy nut bread, oh, something crazy bread. It just looked interesting, in and I was like, "Well, that's an ancient recipe, you know." Um, uh, fucking fantastic! Imagine carrot bread, carrot cake, or carrot bread, but without any sweetness or flavor, and it just tastes like regular bread. But like, it's got sunflowers in it, and like, it's got this just this texture that's phenomenal too. But again. You don't tell it. You can't tell it's a different kind of bread. Like it's, you know, like if you eat a wheat bread or a fucking oat bread or a nut bread, they all taste different. This tastes just like fucking bread, except just God's bread, I guess. Ironically, the way you're describing this bread, it does sound like you eat a lot of nuts. I mean, it, to suck have, a dick. To be so that two days ago, I ate one peanut butter and strawberry jelly. If you want to be extra gay about it. Uh, peanut butter sandwich about that big on that tiny bread. That was it. That's all I ate. Yesterday, Were they smooth nuts or crunchy nuts? I ate some stir fries. Did you some, put some, in your some mouth? Stuff. They were not crunchy. They were not even chewy. They were. That's the other thing. How the fuck did they bake these nuts and not make them into like hard rocks or soft mush? They just were like absolutely. Per they just were like a nut out of a out of a shell. Honey, bake these nuts out of my pan. I'm gonna be right back. Oh, God. I gotta make I I I, I just I can't be. <laughs> just can't that's the, be that's the question. That's the question of the year, folks. How do they bake these nuts? Wow, wow, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of my chair, Damien. Ah, fuck it, you cunt. My network. Christ, now everything's All better. All right. I'll fuck everybody's <laughs> heads up like that. <laughs> Gee, time fucking flies when you're not talking about boring fucking dull idiots. I feel like we just started the show. We've already gone over time. It really does. Yeah. Yesterday, I could have sworn we went like four hours. My yeah, God. and it was like five minutes into the show, and I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Trying to dance and make fucking material out of this fucking bullshit, which, by the way, a lot of people don't think, uh, not a lot of people, actually, everybody seems to fucking really, th this went really bad for them. But as far as the... Rob Saul comment. People don't seem to be really that upset about that. 
But I think last night kind of proved my point. Pat Dixon was on the Rob Saul show. And that very one, that think about it. There could be a chain of events, and this is what I meant by it's fucking bad business for Rob Saul to just sit there and let Stevie Lou talk that shit. Um, Pat Dixon, Zenhauser, their co-host on a show, even though Pat Dixon, uh, he didn't show up to the last men are talking. I wonder if he'll be at the next one. Um, if, uh, if he's not, I'll blame it on me because I'll be appearing on Men Are Talking this week, Sunday. So I'll be there to find out if uh, that Pat Dixon shows up. But anyway, um, um, that's right, folks. I'm cunning to take Pat Dixon's spot as the new permanent member of... I, that show's a relationship show, I think. Right, Mr. Kish? I could never... Um, Jesus, it's just about I don't know women. Why be, uh, it's, Jesus it's, Christ. I don't like women. They're stupid. Yeah, it's Women are stupid. Women. Yeah, that's you're perfect. There you go. You know how hard it is to be on that show and not talk about how stupid women are, and 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 just be like, yeah, that story you're telling, yep, just another cute, silly woman story. Nope, I just want to rail on how stupid they are. I'm just kidding. Hey uh, Jim, what do you think about women? That fucking I, bitch needs to get me my coffee and wake me up on time. That's right. That's goddamn right. But um. Zenhauser could have seen Pat Dixon sitting right next to Rob Saul a day after Rob Saul sat right next to Stevie Lou while Stevie Lou was saying that Anthony Zenhauser did his kid. And then that could be like, yo, you know, uh, you suck. And then he could be like, I don't suck. You suck. And then that could break up men are talking. One simple motion. Oh, no. Because of people's pettiness, stupidness, whateverness. It, it's just something that could happen. That's all I'm saying is it's bad business. If you're a fucking working comedian, uh, you don't sit there while somebody who gave up on comedy because they suck to be a shit caster shits on another working comedian because that can trickle down and be bad business. That's all I'm saying. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I am an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, mean, yes, yes, you're an idiot, but you're also too. correct. They used to work together too, which is just weird. I mean, I think Rob tried, he didn't really try very hard to say his stuff. I think he tried, oh, yeah, why don't you yeah, kiss his penis? I'm just saying, I think he he didn't... <laughs> you're you know, right, he said... Wah, 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 on that show, wah, 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 you gotta really, like, punch wah, through on that one. Wah, wah, even though you're a loud dude. That's what he said. And his first line on the show gets... Don't interrupt me on my show, Tara. <laughs> I'm just saying. It was bad business, Rob Saul, in my opinion. It's just integrity, it's all. But anyway, Good Burger, huh? Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Uh, yeah. I'm a dude. She's a dude. He's a dude. Oh. We're all dudes, yeah. He was a fucking prophet. Holy shit, he saw the times are changing. <laughs> so we did tease that we were going to do something today, but I don't know. See, now we're running what? out of time again. Why, you, just... why is Luke so tiny? <laughs> did we get, how can you see his... Oh. I'm a yeah, small is. man. I've become very... Well, do you have yours? Do you have yours? I do. Okay, so today we'll start with Luke, and maybe we'll get to me, because I'm going to assume Damien and Stone. Stone probably doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about right now. Probably not. It's the Tell Him Steve, Dave. One, Drew, three, uninvitational. That's right, it's uninvitational because no one fucking invited us. But that's okay, we're going to steal it anyway. And uh, each day we're going to go over some... Okay, here's the fucking... Shut up! Here's how it goes. <laughs> you tiny cunt. <laughs> you tiny little prick. Shut your tiny little mouth. <laughs> Uh, here's how the game goes. Uh, this will be a way for the audience to get to know us and us to get to know each other. A little fun bonding. Um, why does it just say Gino is a bitch? That's what it is. Is that your that's, notes? That's what you doodle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gina was a bit. Yeah, there it is. That's part of the. Yeah, well, that's a whole subject in itself. So that's. Yeah. Well, there was uh, there was things to pull up for that too. There's but a fall that, yeah, yeah f fuck that shit. One true three. Yeah. So one true three is two lies, one truth. Luke is going to tell us two lies and one truth, and the three of us. How do, how's it go, Damien? We get three questions between us that we have to agree on, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not like we each ask questions we as a group 
have to agree upon the questions. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, or at least how they tried to have it go for a while. I think so. It's been quite a while yeah. since I've done a one true three. And of course, you know, when it comes to a Walt Flanagan game, rules are for fools. And um, they're, yeah. they're subject to change on the fly. But that's what it is. So he's going to tell us the three. Then we're going to question him on those three. And then each of us will pick what we think. And there will be a winner. Obviously, the winner gets a big old prize of being the winner. PS5, send it to me. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so... The kind of stuff we do here. So, is... go ahead, Luke. All right, all right. So, number one. I met John Travolta on the set of A Civil Action when I was 17 years old. I already know my question. Did you suck him? But anyway, go on. <laughs> Lots of people were around so you know we couldn't don't answer yet you gotta you can't answer. okay no stop it stop it <laughs> number two one time i slapped patrice o'neill two hours before he went on stage number three all right i already have questions for that i am a distant cousin of Stephen King. Okay, so you got you slapped Patrice O'Neill, distant cousin of Stephen King, and what was the first one? He, Civil action. John Travolta. Oh, you Travolta? you you blew John no, Travolta. No, he, he, he met him. May have sucked him. <laughs> May have sucked him. Our parts met. And what was the third one? That was uh, Stephen King. Uh huh. Um, well, you do look like you have Down syndrome, so <laughs> I'm already gonna go with the third. Uh, Mainers all have a certain look. What was the Actually, first one again? Junior from Maine. What was the first? Oh, John oh, Travolta. sucked John Travolta. Okay. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He does kind of suck. Especially in that movie, I mean, he's not really like so now, dramatic. So now you're saying, so now you're saying that you that they Yoko Cholo made John Travolta suck. Not he. Uh, okay, are John we going Travolta. with this question? If he blew John Travolta, because I think it's pretty logical. No, I mean, well, what if what if it, what if he's really trying to say that he made John Travolta suck? He was the reason of John Travolta's career decline. Well, I mean, he showed up on In Hot Water. That show died. Uh, he showed up on the East Side Babe <laughs> show. That show died. I showed Maybe up here. Is... And... Mm. Hey, <laughs> don't, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it, Jefferson Darcy. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> jerk. Oh, no. All right, so what questions do we have for John Travolta? Let's start there. What questions do we have to figure this one out? How'd you get the let, 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 Let's just ask questions. Fuck Walt's rules. How did you get the job? A, civ a civil action? Yes, or ding dong. Um, okay, so. You just, you know, you just go to a cattle call and they needed a bunch of different. You go to a what? They were doing a, a cattle call, you know, like a an open audition. I've never heard it called that. I've been to, I've been an extra in many a film. Uh, I've never heard it called know. that at all. I've heard it called that. I don't know. That some people call it. Maybe they just do that up here because we're just idiots up here. Uh, and that sounds degrading. Young, so I had to bring my mom. Had to go on set with me for the day. I got paid, and I actually got a waiver. At age seventeen. Yes. Yeah. I've also been on film sets at age seventeen and did not need a waiver or a parental guide. No, 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 no. I they got me. They gave me a SAG waiver for the day because they didn't actually use me. You know, uh, you they know don't do I mean? SAG waivers for extras. They gave me one though. They for some reason they like, hey, you know, we're sorry that you guys had to sit here and that you didn't get picked. So we're just we're gonna give you. That he, he, remember, guys, he could be intentionally lying to throw us off, too. This could be a true story. He's just, he could be just giving up dumb details that make no fucking sense. Uh, go on. I uh, anyone else have questions liar. for him? 
Okay, so um, so what's supposed to happen with Stephen King? Did you did you? Oh, we're done with Travolta because we're supposed to go question by. We're oh, we at least oh. got to stick. You guys got to have any more questions about Travolta, or we we got mm-hmm. enough info to decide on that one. Any more questions about Travolta? Okay. Um, yeah. Did, currently, did you, I'm thinking that that's bullshit. Did you help him write a script, or did you help him with his dance moves? You know, saying in one of his movies or something. Yeah, yeah, you're full of shit. You're full of yeah. shit, Luke. Because you, you, I, I just double checked it. I, I am correct. You do not need a goddamn anything. You have nothing to do. You're not required to be a fucking SAG dues payer. You don't get no waivers f- to be an actor or back uh, uh, extra or background actor. So that's just you're just telling some crazy shit. This is all was I'm in saying. Ninety seven. So maybe things have changed. No, no. <laughs> in ninety seven, I was also a young boy on film sets, and no, oh. no. Oh boy! Uh, you're lying, Luke. You're lying. At least on those details. These real don't, film sets. Don't tell me you were a fluffer. Nah, <laughs> real movie, real movie sets, dickhead. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've been in movies with Danny Glover, with Mia Farrow, with Most Def, with Jack Black. Sure, that was all the same movie. With Lemmy from Motorhead, with the Trey Parker mask. I, I, I should save these for my one true three next time. I, I got a you could seven degree. Fuck Kevin Bacon. Six degrees of Jimmy Grins. God damn right. <laughs> still trying to fix my end. I am still one end short of a full deck. Uh, anywho, where do you fucking change the name? Where do you? I'm losing my mind. I can't find the space to change the name. Why have I turned retarded? Turned? <sighs> Fuck Go you. down to. Yeah, down below. You have to click your thing down below. Yeah, I am. It's not there. It doesn't say edit name like it used, always dots. does. Edit name. Yes, I know. It doesn't say it. It's not okay. there, Luke, you dumb idiot. Anyway. All right. Well, uh, there you go. So okay. we're moving on from Luke's lie about being a, fuck, getting See? a SAG waiver. Good, Number good, two. Good, 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 good. Number two. He slapped Patrice O'Neal where? On the titty? Booty? Face? In the chest. In the chest. So Teddy. Context? It's a li- it's a lie. I'm already saying it's a lie. He's I a- know it's a lie. He's the. Pink- I-, I feel this is a fucking absolute lie because I feel like Luke would have all- just been talking about that time I slapped Patrice O'Neal into Teddy. I feel like we would have heard that story a thousand times already. I feel like he's depicting a pro wrestling match, like so, Abdullah the Butcher know, versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Audience, you can make was, make questions too. When I was first uh, starting to play music, there was this drummer who uh, had been around a long time. You know, been playing for 20, 25 years. Always played barefoot. His name was Mike, and he was like, he uh, watched us play and stuff. And he told me one day, he's like, you know, the thing is about playing, you you can't, you don't want to do use all your tricks all the time. Like every song you write. Or every song you play, you don't slapping do Patrice O'Neill in the titty do. is different. That's a story so you that's told. You don't just say all your tricks all the time. No, uh, the context. Uh, it was before the ONA virus tour, which was at the um, the casino in Connecticut. Uh, was it Mohican? So what? Two thousand. I think it was Mohican. Seven. So around yeah, when they were. You know, when things were going really well for them. Scary ass grudge looking woman. Just fucking turn around. The woman's just appeared out of nowhere. (laughs) Fucking standing behind the screen like this. We were walking (laughs) to find our tickets to the box office. And (laughs) there's a mall area in there. And we're walking through the mall area. And then come around the corner. And I look and I see this mountain of a man. And I go, and I had. I had just seen Patrice on. Um, I feel like if you fucking turned a corner in a mall and slapped Patrice O'Neill in the tit, that he'd slap you in the fucking mouth. I have that feeling. So I knew what he looked like. So I saw him. I was like, "Holy shit!" I, I nudged my buddy, like, "That's Patrice right there. He's walking towards us." He's like, "Holy shit! He's huge!" And I was like, "Yeah, I know." And I walked up, and I was so nervous. I didn't know what to do. I walked right up and I said, "Hey, man!" And I just went, Psh! like, literally in the middle of his, like, in the solar plex, like. And he, he was looking down at his Blackberry and he just like stopped and was like, what the fuck, man? And yeah, I don't buy that story now. The what the fuck, man, was 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 out. That was too much. That was too oh, maybe much just for what me. What the fuck? No, man. What the fuck? Oh, now I believe it. 
Now it makes he just sense. Kind of looked at me like you crazy white motherfucker. <laughs> like what the fuck was that? There we go. Yeah, because we were Mexican. Clearly, racism. we were. Clearly, hey, you should we were come circa, with that first. <laughs> clearly, we were in circa. You know, say nineteen late nineteen seventies, early nineteen eighties when he met Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, and he's like, "Why you touch my titty, white boy?" That's yeah. You dirty white motherfucker. <laughs> jive ass turkey. Yeah, then he called I you mean, jive ass turkey. <laughs> To be fair, like both things Stone just said, there's potential Patrice would have actually said that. <laughs> no, he wouldn't have said jive ass. <laughs> no, he would have, but he, he wouldn't have been serious about it. But as Patrice might have possibly said that. And just, <laughs> just incredulous, scared, like, what the fuck? I don't know. He tells the story well, guys. He really does. Um, he so does. Is, is he a real good liar? Um, it's possible. He is Mexican. Mm. Oh. It's a joke. He's not a Mexican. <laughs> you know, 20% indigenous. <laughs> Full. A joke. A joke. He is Solid Mexican. 20. 20 what? Mayan? You're, you're, you're a... Aztec. You're, right outside. 20 Mayans and me? Like uh, Aztec. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so are we done with Patrice? And in his... insults, insults from the men we... down in the... See, Do I, we have any... the story. I should just let you guys ask questions. So. Do we have a... What'd you say? Yeah, you're not supposed to just give a whole... St- well, you, you can. I mean, you, you did. We did ask you the... Con- we did, I guess. Any more questions about Patrice O'Neill? Mm. No, I think I've got enough. So, so you didn't. So, I mean, this was in um, what year? Yeah, it was around 2007, around that yeah. time. So you didn't get Probably. a selfie. You didn't get a selfie. Are you and him? Oh, I didn't have a really good phone at that time. Who gives a I mean, shit? Your friend didn't. No, and I didn't think of it because it was just you know you're walking in the middle of a mall. I was nervous as shit. It's Patrice. I've been. Li- I mean, I've heard this guy on the radio. You take probably at that point. I'd heard him talk for ten hours or twenty hours or something. Just himself. You know what I'm saying? Like when he would show up, he'd like take over the show pretty much. I could kind of back Luke up on the idea of like not taking pictures because he's a narcissist. So he probably thinks you know he's Patrice O'Neill level, so he doesn't need to get a picture with him. <laughs> I want to look um, cool. I know that's what I think. I'm a peer. I have been with um, countless, countless celebrities, and have never once asked for a picture, to my knowledge, to my memory, rather. No, I can't think of a single, single picture. Okay, you never asked for one, but you do have. But we do know you have at least one that we've seen. What with fucking John Kerry? No, with. Uh, oh, Matthew Lesko. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just. I guess I, I guess I mean. I, I remember. I do remember those. But then there's the. But then there's the one with Bizarre. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I mean, we were there fucking filming. We were. That's the thing, though. Oh, bizarre. There's cameras bizarre. going usually when I'm around these people. So I mean, there's just no thought of like, hey, let me get a picture, man. Just not my thing. I'm a. Uh, I'm a fancy boy. I don't need to take pictures with the celebrities. They, they need to take pictures with me. But Jimmy grins, has, but he has them, and then he drops them for you to see. Uh, well, I mean, I did. For somebody else took, somebody made me take the picture with John Kerry, um, because it was it was my job. I had to take the picture. Um, Matthew Lesko, I actually I saw that dude at a fucking nine eleven truth protest. In fucking Washington D.C., fucking talking about the, you know, 9/11 was an inside job, and it just blew my fucking mind. Let me say my book to show you how. Question mark? Yeah. Buy my book and I'll show you how. 9/11 was an inside job. Let me show you my book. Buy my book. I'll show you how exactly how it's done. I had to get that picture, man. I had to. Uh, you don't. You don't come. That's just surreal. Buy my book. I'll show you. <laughs> All right. So Stephen King. Uh, well, to start it out, do you like sex with kids? No. Then I don't believe you're related to Stephen King. Jesus. Nope. Even distant. Everyone that. <laughs> Luke, you long head. He's doing a Jordy, uh, what is it, Jordy White? 
Um, no, Jordy, Jordy White is uh, Jordy Revelle. Yeah, Jordy White is a fucking I think guitarist or something for Marilyn and Manson. Uh, questions, questions for this guy. Uh, okay, I got one. Luke, are you related to Stephen King? Yeah, well, it's it's like by marriages and but yes, distant cousin. Like that's not distant. And- distant doesn't involve marriage. Then it's just a nobody to you. If there's marriage involved, it's a nobody. A distant cousin has to be like your cousin's 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 cousin cousin by blood. Like for instance, my cousin uh, has sexual intercourse with Peter Steele's cousin, and they have had a baby together. So Peter Steele and I share a cousin, if he were still alive. But Peter Steele and I are not cousins. You understand how it works? Yes. Yeah. We're who complete in, nobodies. Who in the hell is Peter Steele? Singer how of typo dare negative. You. Huh? How what? dare you, Stone? The sorry. singer of typo negative. Oh, I'm sorry. And I mean, that is how it works, though. If your two cousins have a baby, that's your cousin, um, apparently. So we share a cousin, or at worst, a second cousin. But a second cousin would have to be a different way. A second cousin would be your cousin's cousin. Um, well, your cousin's kid hmm. would be your second cousin, right? No, your cousin's kid is your cousin. Your cousin's cousin is your second cousin. Okay, so they have to be from a yeah you know, the other side of your cousin's family. Correct, Amundo. So basically, Stephen King is absolutely nothing to you, is what you're saying. Cousin, cousin, dry hunt, cousin. Well, so, okay, I have to go through, like, if they had a... There. All right, while he thinks, I'll say, I'm looking at all these comments from V, and I'm like, damn, we're leaving out poor V. And then I'm reading them, and it's like, the only picture I want with a celebrity is with a bloody hole in their head. (laughs) And fucking psycho comments. V, you know prostitutes exist, right? You can get one pretty easily. (laughs) What's wrong with masturbation, V? Or do that. Either way, you gotta purge just, some shit. Just pump your so pickle. Yeah. yeah, if he's got like a second cousin that's married trying to, to figure one out who my second the cousin. cousins, and they have a kid, then we. They're are. not cousins. No, you're not. He's no, you're not. Out. You're cousins to the kid, not to him. He's figuring out who dry hump the cousin. So related. If your cousin, I guess what? not then a direct cousin, but related through the a cousin. And dry hump. Right, like I just said, if your cousin has a child with Stephen King's cousin, the child is your cousin, but Stephen King's cousin and Stephen King are nothing to you. They're not at all in the cousin. It does not include the, not a second cousin. Well, now nothing. there's a DNA that has some. It's an in law at best. DNA and some of my some of my DNA together in one person. So that means the tree connects. So it all goes back feeds. They're cousins. They're kissing and they're and they're. I mean, in Maine, who knows who? If you say you're a second family, cousin, you might so, be a first. I don't know. You know they kind of. Okay, I got no more questions for this dumb one. How about you guys? No, I think I'm, I think I'm good. And by dumb one, I meant Luke, not the topic. I don't mean to insult your topic or your 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 your, your entry. Okay, so um, John Travolta. Well, we, he definitely lied about the SAG um, because extras do not fucking need SAG waivers at all. I didn't say need. Nor do seventeen-year-olds need a parent on the set. They were um, like, hey. What what state was this? What state was this in? Norm- what state was this in? Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, uh, Seventeen. Uh, yeah. Well, we found this out from characters. Like, never mind. Uh, I was going to say about, about James Franco, but it just sounds bad. You don't. You don't. James Franco could have sex with you at seventeen, Luke. Okay. You don't what? need. <laughs> yes. James Franco can legally have sexual intercourse with you at the age of seventeen, um, in Massachusetts. So I'm pretty sure uh, you don't need a parent on the set. Okay. I just. I just don't buy the John Travolta one. that has too many inaccuracies. It, it's. It, he's lying, but he could be intentionally lying or dumb. <laughs> Well, maybe the last one's too fucking confusing. Like, yeah. Maybe it is a possibility, but I, I don't even know anymore. 
I want to believe the last one because it makes so sen- so little sense, and he was just wrong about what he said. Yeah, I, f- I feel like the word distant is definitely like if, if that is true, distant is definitely true. But I don't fucking know <laughs> that whole like more than distant. <laughs> I feel like it's the most likely of the three, though. So you're well, okay. So we got a Damien, so I'm putting D next to that. I'm still not sure what I'm picking. I'm leaning. I'm actually between one and two. Um, Stone, did John Stone just leave here? Um, God damn it! God damn it! Like at the end of the goddamn game. Well, they got another three shows for the price of one today, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> so by the time Stone gets back, I mean. All right, I yeah, guess we're just going to quit back. the game then. Let's just forget it. Let's just quit. It's over. No, 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 no. So we, we just wasted 25 we minutes? No. Oh, yeah. that what this is? Well, what are we going to do? We're going to finish without Stone? I mean, at the second I vote, we're sitting here and waiting. So if I, I, I like, Schrodinger's cat us, if I, like, you know, I throw a little baby fit and refuse to continue, and then he'll show up, and then I'll, okay. No. God I pick damn. Jesus Christ. I pick fine. He can't hear nothing. He's probably cheating. He probably can hear. He's trying to trick us and he's sitting backstage like I'll make him think I'm gone. They'll eventually just do it and then I'll hear the answer. But then when I come back, they're going to do it anyway just to like just to get the content cuz they're all hacks. Uh and uh yes, yeah, so he's fucking plotting on us this piece of shit. Little snaky son of a Son of a bitch. Hello, sir. You're back. So what is your guess? Uh, Damien and I have already made our guesses. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Oddly enough, high-fiving Patrice O'Neal in the chest. Um... Fuck me. Well, I was going to really, in the end, go for that. I think it's Patrice O'Neal. I really do. I think that's the bullshit story. It sounded like bullshit. It smells no, like oh, bullshit. That, oh, oh, we're, fi- oh, we're finding the lie, not the truth. Oh, yeah. Duh. Oh, we're finding sorry. the... Wait. Oh, yeah, because there's two lies and one truth. Duh. So that's right. We're looking for the truth. Yeah. See, I'm so stupid. So... Oh. does. I think Luke is figuring out I did this wrong. I think he's I just now dis- <laughs> I didn't Is it two truths you- and a lie? No, it's two lies. Oh, it's, and the it's truth. true lies and yeah. Okay, good, good, good. I just want to make sure yeah, you get it right. What, okay. I got it right. I was doing so which one's the true one? Well shit. Okay, I, I'm gonna I say still, I still stand by the Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, this is so weird. Because looking at this that. in reverse, suddenly I'm like, well, if only one of them's true, it's gotta be the Patrice O'Neill. But before, I was like, if one of them's a lie, it's got to be Patrice O'Neal. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's okay. weird. Okay, I'm going with Patrice O'Neal. Really and Damien, weird. you're still sticking with Sleepy King? Yeah. All right. Uh, drum roll. Uh, let's get some fancy... F- I did slap Patrice O'Neill in the chest when I walked up to him in the middle of a mall right before the show. It was one of the, the reason I don't talk about it is it's kind of embarrassing, although it's a long time ago. But so I was pretty young, you know, like, I was like 26, 27, just like, I don't think I'd. <laughs> I was pretty like, young. I, I was 26. I, I, 26 is not young at all. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling you, was. Was. that was when your career yeah, right. in music was, was uh, reached its end. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Hey, Jim, I'm, de- I'm telling you, Jim, I'm destined to win on a game show big. You know what I'm saying? One of these days, I'm telling you. I'm destined to win big. Like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like glory of a fucking white man can't jump now. I'm like, I'm, I'm destined to, I'm destined to win it all. Oh, 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 don't make me think about your juicy nipple. Oh, crazy, pal. <laughs> don't big be- brown 
nipples. Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird, man. There was no big brown nipples in the reboot. The reboot should not have been called a reboot. They should have just called it White Men Can't Jump Part 2. And fucking maybe people would have fucking enjoyed it and said, oh, this is a decent sequel. But, like, it had nothing to do with the original. Pretty sure there wasn't even a Jeopardy plot, was there? I wouldn't know. I was. I hadn't quite decided oh, yeah, to give it a chance a yet. That was part of the plot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I read about read it up on it. Well, so. yeah, I mean, it was a cross. It was a crossroads in the situation. I mean, it was a detail, and ultimately, what was a crossroads in their relationship? You know, because of the money and everything like that. So, I'm gonna Google. Well, how yeah, this I mean, went. but she, you know, from the beginning, you know, her character was just like, yeah, I love this, and this is what I want. You know, I want to be on there one day, and that was yeah, the whole, that was her dream. Yeah. But then, but but then it's, it became important Art. to the. It became important to a. A central, you know, saying a, a real heavy part of the of the movie that became like the crossroads of their relationship because she had the money and he could just, you know, chill. He didn't have to go out and play. Well, yeah, not so much yeah. chill, but get, but at least get a job, get do something else, but not, you know, be out here hustling basketball anymore or anything like that. The director's movie, the director of that movie's name was Calm Calmatic. One word. No wonder it's fucking sucked. If your fucking name's Calmatic. You don't belong directing a movie because you can't even direct a proper moniker for yourself. <laughs> like you can't even come up with a good fucking name. Calm and, and addict. Calmatic. Calmatic. C a l m a. Almost like clamato. It reminds me of fucking clamato <laughs> juice. I don't know why. Calmatic. Well, I guess I do know why. It fucking sounds like it. But yeah, I'm reading uh, the plot. Oh, I guess the plot's not here. I'm pretty positive that. Um, They did not have anything to do with Jeopardy, and also like it starts out and um, the the white guy, not Woody Harrelson's role, just fucking completely different character. Um, he was like the the big basketball star in the fucking court, and that's the other thing. It's all in indoor courts. There's not even street courts. Forget it. Let's not talk about this anymore. I'm getting angry. Really? No, 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 no. But, but seriously, indoor courts. At least what I saw of it, yes, it was all indoor courts. And that is what, like, just watching the first, like, 15 minutes of it, I was like, this is just, if you would have called it White Men Can't Jump 2, I might have kept watching. But you're telling me this is a reboot of a fucking goddamn classic, and it's just, you're not even outside yet? Fuck off. The only, in, the only indoor basketball scene that I will ever love is from fucking The Cable Guy. Oh, apparently Rob Saul doesn't do a uh, comedy. Uh, then why is uh, uh was he just go and watch shows? Because every time I hear, uh, it's like yeah, I'll be at that show. I fucking thought the man was a comedian. What's he doing? He's just sitting on podcasts then. He, it's the yeah, bartender who sits on podcasts. Why not? Everybody else own, is. He started his own show years ago, and he had a couple of guests that were bigger. Well, the, he has some let connection me, let me, somehow. Look, I don't want Maybe the Gino Bisconte narrative out there. Please. I, I don't want this Gino Bisconte narrative out there. Um, what do you mean? That's not why. I, look here. I'm here not to be a podcaster. This isn't even a fucking podcast. I'm here because I write things, right? Stone uh, has his journalistic uh, dreams. Uh, and I I'm also, things. excuse me, I, I like to write, and he writes, you're a writer and a journalist, I'm a writer and a stage performer, and Luke is a Producer, stage performer and a stage fucking producer, creative, yeah. a fucking Damien is a, well, you know, Damien, Damien is a good boy. He's a clip, he's, he, awesome. he's a, he's a clip genius. I'm teasing, he has artistic aspirations. Um, so, he's right I mean, just, I despite just your assume, cuntiness, I'm pretty much the same as you. <laughs> right, I, I just assume. Well, I mean, oh, I guess yeah, you did do a did a little stage for yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 I, I'm I a writer you, who I see what you mean there. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean there. You, you, you are you have the same aspirations of the things I've done. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, man. Wow. <laughs> I can see why, see why people hate you, Jesus. His narratives that he makes. 
No, I swear to God, that what the, what the fuck does he do? All right, well, then I take back the um, <laughs> Are you business, trying to make the, me quit? I take back the... No, I'm talking about Rob Saul. I, I, I'm, oh, sticking okay. with, I'm sticking with your thing. <laughs> no, I, I take back the um, bad business angle. Um, still pretty tepid and lame responses, but... Yeah, Fine, then in the business of podcasters. So I don't understand if he's not a he's not even a humorist. Why is he on a podcast? I don't get it. Because it's the thing to look, man. Why, why are why are aged rappers and whatnot doing fucking podcasts now and fucking doing these shows now, man? Why? To get money. And to and to if nothing else, if nothing else, really, I think for a lot of them, is to is to grab at some sort of relevancy that doesn't relegate them to being like part of the uh, golden oldies, you know what I'm saying, tour track. Like like you know, so like a lot of guys that you know what I'm saying, like a lot of older rappers that happen to be like they have this going out there performing their old, you know what I'm saying, the old hits, only only the most well known ones, you know, and, and going out there and just and just performing. They don't want to do that. So it's like let me or you know, so let me just go or, or maybe they just don't have the type of audience to where I, I don't know. Like, let me ask you this. Cause, cause but I think they still. But, but what you're saying though is because they have something to promote. The porn stars, they got something to promote. Okay. Yes, if you have something to promote, this is a, another avenue for promotion. Even though you might not be doing it all the time. Hey, Luke, so the, what's Rob Saul the promoting the then? Look, I don't. Res- I don't necessarily respect. Oh, I'm sorry. What what is that mediocre thing you just said? No, nothing. Oh, I just it's my personal thing. I don't respect people who are on these microphones without an ulterior motive, Um, because I feel like if you're just on the microphone, who the fuck are you? Like, why would your opinion matter um, as just a regular if you don't? I'm saying if you're not a whore, I know how bad this sounds. is, Is that the way is that the way you feel about Joe Button? Is that the way you feel about? Joe Budden is somebody else. Again, none of these people you're naming are podcasters. They do podcasts Mm -hmm. to promote their other things. And like... So you think think there's other things for Joe Budden? Is he not an entrepreneur? I don't know. I'm getting Google is right now. And it's not not Joe Budden, okay? It's Joe Budden. I did say Joe Joe Budden. Budden. You're like, what, little Joey Buttons? I didn't say Joe. I did not say Joe Button, you asshole. <laughs> Fuck you. I did not. But look, let me let me ask you. I mean, let me ask you. You're you're a New Yorker. You're a native New Yorker, Jim. Does Nori the, the, former the, rapper? He was a fucking rapper in 2003 yeah. with a top 40 single, "Pump It Up," and then became a podcaster. He was, he did the slow, he did the slaughterhouse thing for a little bit, but then was blamed for being like the weak link. And then, yeah, it was podcasting. No, no. Then it was reality shows. Then podcasting. He retired in 2018 from rap, so he's barely. And I'm pretty sure he, Joe, but I know of Joe Budden well before his podcast. That's some. That was my point about who do you think you ought to have something to say. That's somebody who has built an audience one way or the other, good or bad, and now is trying to capitalize off that audience that's understandable it's a business thing not a psycho who just thinks that their voice matters and people want to hear them and they should just be another voice in the sea of fucking irrelevant opinions and See, they think, think they're doing something great i mean if you're just having fun like let's go to moo and kai right maybe they maybe because that show it, you can the only excuse for that show is it's just two dudes having fun. Can That's we it. Do in a, a segment where can I finish my point though? Can I, can, oh, I, can yeah, I finish yeah. my point though? It's two dudes having fucking fun. All right? And that's fine. Maybe they don't truly believe that they're going to change minds and take the world by storm. They do believe that. They actually do believe they're going to like become super famous fucking podcasters and be say but you know maybe they don't believe any of that and no they no airhead shakespeare does oh i I do believe without a doubt without a doubt yeah i've got some pretty official dms that would uh suggest otherwise 
He's got brand. He's got merchandising or something. Shit. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Brand. <laughs> brand. <laughs> Stop, Davey. <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> I was trying not to go there. This, this is my literal reaction when I read that fucking message. I was trying not to go there, man. <laughs> I really. Mm. When I the yeah, same reaction when I it just it, it, <laughs> and that's but that speaks to the type of people who are on microphones. You're destroying my brand, <laughs> bitch. Do you know what a brand is? Do you, under, do you even understand what a brand... Do you, your existence is not a brand. <laughs> I exist and I turn on the microphone. This is my brand. And my products. You, my you affect, my you precious affect, products. You will affect my ability to sell my dick towels. <laughs> See, at least that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, at least they're selling something there. For instance, the Ski Mask Collective. Now... Hmm. Ski Mask allegedly wanted to be a comedian, a stand-up comedian. Um, what's his dick? Stancil it works in the comedy club and fucking obviously wants something to do with comedy. So those two guys, as terrible as their show is, are are there to promote something else. They're there to uh not to podcast they're not there to podcast they're there to use the podcast to promote their maybe their endeavors are to be like they want to be little socialites or something i don't know um but they're there to promote other endeavors you know they want yeah, they want to be comedians uh unfortunately be well becoming a socialite too uh helps you obviously if you're around enough for people to know your name then you can be a giant prick and still stick around like certain people the fact of the matter is the big corporations pay these little children uh fucking um empire money fucking enough money to feed a country so that they create the image that there is this dream it's the new american dream that there's this ability for anybody to turn on a microphone and go viral and the fact of the matter is that's a lie you can't you can't do it. It's all locked down Kafka's before the law. Fact. These children you're watching twerking, Lou, on TikTok while you take your poopies. These these little kids that you watch twerk on TikTok, you fucking disgusting pig. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're not a woman and you use TikTok, you're a fucking just a garbage person. You're You're the bottom of the fucking barrel. In my opinion, wow. Hold up. Okay, so wow, we we drawn a line here. <laughs> we have, Mister Stone. Now your comment, your your counter of why you love TikTok. I don't even have TikTok. And then there you go. I Look, don't. let's say Mister Stone's son looks at TikTok. He's a child. He's brainwashed. He's stupid. Okay, but if you're a grown ass man and you're looking at TikTok, you're fucking sick. That's what I'm saying. You're garbage. If you're over 30 and you're looking at TikTok, and you're probably you might destroying as well your brain too. In the in the meantime, I mean, I mean this is, it, it's it's really it's it's it feels like a psyop because it's really no. making people very ADHD worse than they were before. But just this I mean, ah, constant maybe. flicking, flicking, flicking. Only shorts, shorts, shorts. I mean, they, they are. I, I guess some TikToks are getting longer. I see them. You know, they put them on Twitter and shit. And sometimes they're like two minutes long or something. But those are TikTok montages, compilations or something. I mean, maybe. Oh, okay. But from a creative standpoint, I just feel like there's nothing going on there that I couldn't that I couldn't make happen on YouTube, doing a short on Instagram or something like that. I just don't feel like I need to add that on. You know, on top of all the other stuff that I might do on, like I say, on YouTube or fucking IG. So it's just not it. It's just not something that I need to necessarily add on. I don't need to be in every place that there's social media or there is possible attention to be sought. I don't need I don't feel like I need to be there. There's certain places that that we that it makes sense for us to be. And there's certain places where it just doesn't make sense for us to be. Right. And it makes no sense for a grown ass man to be on TikTok. At all, you know, um, I'll, I'll just 
I, I'm a really shitty liar. But with the there was a shred of truth in each one of those because I was on the set of the civil action. I did get they did give me. Oh, we forgot to do that part of the game. That's actually a part of the game where you talk about your lies. So your John Travolta lie. What about that one? Tell us the tell I us was, the truth. Was it a total lie? What? I was there for the day, and I did have my mom with me. I don't know. Maybe I was sixteen, not seventeen. I don't know. Maybe that Wait, was why. So you were an extra in the movie yes. a, with in, John Travolta. They didn't use us though. They chose different. It doesn't matter, you fucking piece group. of shit. Yes. It's still a truth. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, that's part of the truth. If I didn't meet John Travolta though, I but mean, you didn't say you met John Travolta. Yeah, I did. You said you were. I didn't, an, I I didn't met hear John him Travolta say that. On the set of a civil action. Ah, I missed that part. Okay, so well, then there's your lie, was meeting him. What about the Stephen King? That's just total fabrication? Well, he is from the same area, and actually... Jesus my, Christ. My dad's... <laughs> Castle my Rock. Dad's well, I've been on his cousin, block once. No, my dad's <laughs> cousin, Mark, hung out with him when he was a kid. Like, they were oh, all Mark. friends. Oh, <laughs> Mark. Mark, yeah. <laughs> He, they were all friends, and my, uh, actually, my dad's house, uh, when they bought it before, it was a funeral parlor, and there used to be a, uh, there was a story that there was a coffin up in the attic, and the kids all used to, like, freak out about it, so, you know, he had that kind of, like, upbringing, where they, and they would go hang out in abandoned houses, and, like, tell cabin. ghost stories and shit, so maybe because of, you know, that house, he had, he had this, like, creepy mindset you know Ooh, so I know tied to my family. no i still don't understand what this has to do so your uncle had a coffin in his attic because he was fucking weirdo <laughs> I, I guess. and Who uh the body? no my Who grandfather the body? that was my, that was my my grandparents house it was the farmhouse that used to be a funeral parlor and all the kids used to like you know, try to sneak up into the attic to see if they could see the coffin. And you know, Why couldn't you have like, just, like, like that would have been a story to put into the one true three as opposed to, like, somehow that in your head equates to I was related to Stephen King. I, I just don't see the connection there. It's, like, two totally different stories. Yeah, but that I was trying to lie, but have a no, yeah, I understand. shred of truth in it, so it wasn't so much. No, I get that. I don't see where the shred of truth is. I had a my grandfather had a house that had a coffin in it. No, so my therefore, was, so my cousin was like real good friends with him when they were kids. So yeah, he's not. Uh -huh. Did he say that part? Kinda. They hung out, Mark. Kinda. Mark you kinda said, said that part. He didn't say. It. Mark. Didn't Mark really did. Say it. Yeah, Mark did. Great. Well. <laughs> How's Mark doing these days? Oh, he's a cunt. <laughs> oh, very not too good, bitch. S super, like, like super crazy liberal. Like, hates me for things that I've said on Facebook, and I didn't. Use, I didn't say that much when I used to say shit on Facebook. But anyway. Oh, you're so such lost people. People like this or blah blah blah. You have forsaken that's Jesus. That's what they said about me. That's what I, that's what people have said. Actually, I had a girl one time on Facebook tell me that uh, my ancestors would be embarrassed or would be ashamed of me because I once had a girl tell me it's like a black boy. Oh. <laughs> I'll never forget. I'll never give that one up. <laughs> I'm like, what oh, you mean my Aztec? Uh, my Aztec ancestors who. Who would just kill all of you. Oh, here he goes inside. again. Here he goes again. He's going <laughs> to well, fucking eat everyone's children and me. bathe in their blood. No, no, I'm just saying, like... It's like, yeah, it's like, what, when when did you speak to them? What was the last time you checked in with them? You <laughs> dumb cunt. <laughs> I mean, my grandmother had kids with a, an American, so she could, you know, do what she wanted. So whatever. that's that's what you got to do. Don't just come over yeah. the border. <laughs> We only had to do a sacrifice like every six months. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd Stone go? All right. Um, I guess it's almost time to go. We're like triple, triple long here. For or double sure. if we did 45 minutes. Who are we going to do next? We're going to do Jim next, first thing in the morning tomorrow? Well, I just need one more lie, and I'm mine's good to go. And I can't think of another lie. I don't know why. 
I'm at the same point. I'm, I think I've got two out of three at this point. Well, I want to say 1.5 out of three. The second one, I'm just kind of like, this might kind of suck. Well, I guess we, I, I guess uh, you know what that means, right? I mean, there's only one fucking answer to this. Tomorrow. Hopefully. Pew, 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 pew.